All right, guys, how's it going? KC3 here with some quick gaming news for you. So pretty much yesterday, dealing with some Fallout news, uh, there was some news coming out saying that there would not be no level cap and there would not be no end game. Uh, no level cap means pretty much when you're, uh, you know, it's just pretty much increasing your level uh, at a particular time, you know, when you do stuff like you blow stuff up, you beat a mission, and you do just do, you know, random stuff. Or do random things within the Fallout universe. You know, you level up, similar like you do in Skyrim. Uh, many people know what I'm talking about. Uh, and there won't be no level, uh, a level cap system. So that means you can go up to level level a thousand probably and still keep on playing for a while. And that's actually pretty cool because that means you still got uh, a lot to do. It means you, it means and the more times you keep level up, the more perks you can be able to get. And the more powerful you can get, so that means you can max out like 100 uh, abilities and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. So you can be like an OP beast, and that just pretty much just shows how much content is in this game. Uh, I already did a video yesterday talking about 400 plus hours of content to do from the producer, and then no level cap. That's actually a very nice treat. On top of that, they also stated that uh, what else? Ending. That's one of the main things uh, that Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas did not have. After you beat the ending, you cannot go back. You pretty much are done unless you you know create a save. You can do everything else before you beat the ending. But when you beat the ending, you pretty much beat the game. And you have to start over or unless you create a save. Skyrim did not have this. They pretty much if you beat the game, you can go back and do all the missions or the side missions that you miss, all the collectibles you want to get, all the achievements or trophies you want to accomplish to get the platinum or ultimate achievement. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's just pretty much something that Fallout New Vegas should have had and Fallout 3 should have had instead of just doing that. But that's actually a pretty cool thing, so I don't have to worry about saving an extra spot, uh, even though I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm going to do some stupid stuff anyway. That's what you're supposed to do when you create a new save spot and do some stupid stuff, because it's going to affect the game overall. But uh, that's an also nice treat as well. Also, something that happened last week, which I didn't be able to talk, to, talk about, Naruto Storm 4 has been delayed to February... It was it February 9th of next year? It's supposed to be coming out sometime next month, I believe. It was a trailer talking about it got delayed. Uh, there was some news talking about it got delayed to next year, but it was supposed to be coming out this month, next month, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I, I'm kind of, you know, shaking about it because I was actually looking forward to this game, but having it the, being delayed, they can be working on it some more. There's some new additions they're probably going to add to it, or it can be because based off the anime right now, the anime is about to end. Is in the last stage arc as of right now, so they're probably giving the anime some time to finish up before the actual game coming up because the game actually cover some of the content dealing with the last arc itself. So many people to have a time to actually watch it over if they haven't really read the source yet, like the comic book or manga source to it, and so they already know don't know what's going to happen yet. So it's pretty cool because pretty much is avoiding some spoilers and stuff. So you know I'm, I'm ready. You know, that's pretty much one game I'm looking forward to 2016, which seems like it's going to be a very great game for game uh great very great year for games uh for mini gamers so that's about it like comment subscribe let me know what you think about this gaming news video follow four are you even more excited about it like i said i'm a very big follow four fan definitely gonna be some more news coming out about this week and naruto storm four i'm a big naruto fan and you know kind of kind of kind of um uneasy that it got delayed but then again you know being delayed is a good thing you know we can be polished up you know it already looked gorgeous you know, like one of the best story games out there and I just want to see how the gameplay will actually play out, you know, like, hopefully I get a demo or whatever and get my thoughts about it. So that's about it. See you guys later, and um, check you guys later in my next gaming news video slash discussions. Have a wonderful day, and thanks again for watching.